All right, y'all, we're here in the spot. We're gonna put out the Mossback Fish Habitat spawning beds. And uh, the water on this lake is, is coming up. As it's coming up, it's gonna be warming up. And as it does that, the fish are gonna be coming in to spawn. So we're gonna give them a nice habitat. We've picked out a spot. Uh, one real important thing for spawning habitat is the depth. You don't wanna put it too deep. The fish like to spawn fairly shallow in a place that they'll get a little bit of sun. So we're here in the afternoon, it's shady here, but in the morning, it's getting nice sun right here. So this is perfect. And uh, we're gonna put some gravel in there. That's really important uh, for substrate. That's something the eggs can stick to. And then they'll have a nice little habitat over their head when the fry hatch out to, to kind of hide. So uh, we're gonna do it right here. We're gonna set it where it would be about three feet deep when the lake's at full pool. So here we go. Here's our pan right here. And uh, we're about to put it together. That's our base. Each one of these limbs, you want to run them in with this crease up. And what that does is over time, it's going to collect a little bit of silt and fine sediment and things like that. And eventually that's going to help more algae grow and, and the algae is really good. That's the base of your food chain right there. So we want to, we want to run these limbs in here with, the, with them angled up with the trough like that, where that sediment can kind of settle in there and get a nice little algae growth on it. And that's going to really help the fish like to hang around. Got to wet them a little bit. May have to wet them. A little trick to it. If, once you get going, you kind of rock it back and forth and they'll slide in. You can do them uh, halfway or you can make them longer. You can leave certain ends longer like that. All right, y'all. We got our little tree here put together. We got our bed right there in a the perfect location. I'm gonna set it on there. Now, real important is we'll put some gravel in there because real important to spawn them. They have a, they need a good substrate, something that the eggs can stick to, and that's really gonna help them choose this spot over another spot that they would get in. So I just got a, a bucket of gravel right here. This is just standard stuff. The pea gravel is really good. Didn't have any of that, so we're gonna try the. Nice and even. Just like that. So the fish will spawn in this gravel. That's where they'll make their nest. When the fry hatch out, they've got some habitat. They've got shade. Uh, hopefully there'll be a little bit of algae starting to grow here, a little something to feed on. And uh, the last thing we're gonna do is we've got three screws. We've got some real small holes right here at the base of our, our tree. And we'll screw it into the base. We're good to go. Water comes up, water warms up. Hopefully we'll have a big old bass spawning on here in a few weeks.